Hi everybody and welcome back to the Upside Dan. I got to see Black Adam in 40X and I'm here to tell you if it's worth it in this format. So this is going to be spoiler free because it's not really going to be a review of the film. It's just going to be reviewing the 40X experience and telling you guys if it's worth it. Is Black Adam, the newest DCEU movie, worth it in the 40X format? Please, before I tell you if it's worth it, just make me your 40X guy. Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more 40X content from me. So just really, really quick few sentences about Black Adam and my feelings about it. I really liked it. I really had a blast with Black Adam. I thought it was fun, very entertaining, just a very fun blockbuster superhero movie. It's a good movie. It's not a great movie. And I'll get more into this, of course, in other videos. I think that it deserves better than what the professional critics are saying. I think the audience score much more reflects how I feel about it for the most part. So is it worth it in the 40X format? They have a lot of good uses of the 40X format here. They do this all the time, but I really noticed it in this film that they follow the camera. In the beginning, they're kind of panning across a landscape. It feels like you're flying along with the camera. The seats are moving with the camera view, with the camera shots, just with how the camera's moving. I thought that they used that very well here. But not just that, they did a good job using all of the elements of the 40X format in this movie. They used the lights well here. This happens in a lot of movies, but when it first starts out with the WB and the DC logo. The light kind of flashes once. There's a lot of scene moving action in this movie. Cyclone, one of the new characters, she makes wind basically. She, you know, she can make a cyclone, a tornado, hurricane, that kind of stuff. And when she's spinning around like a tornado, it's really fun. The seat's like always facing the screen, but the seat's like in its place, you know, like just turning around as if you're turning around with the characters in the film. So in that way, it immerses you into this movie. The movie's already fun on its own and it just adds to that. It adds to the entertainment value. A lot of flying, as you could tell, action, violence, a lot of violence actually. I do think this kind of teeters the line between PG-13 and rated R. But to me, I almost think that a superhero movie's made for the 40X format. And I think this one especially is kind of made for this format. There's so much flying and the seats make it feel like you're flying along. There is some water stuff, so the water sprays at you. When something gets hidden back or something, you feel a puff of air. Or when someone shoots, you feel a puff of air in the back of your head. And the light goes off, you know, the lights definitely were used a lot. Like I said, it's with lightning and gunshots and all of that. But do I think that Black Adam is worth it in the format? Absolutely, yes. This is one of the most fun times I've had in the 40X theater. So please make me your official 40X guy and like this video, subscribe to me, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more 40X content from me. So yes, like I said, 100% Black Adam is worth it. This movie is like made for this format. It's just almost non-stop entertaining fun. If you liked what you've seen here and you want to see some more from me, please click around here to see some other content from me. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video with the movie fans in your life, hit that notification bell, subscribe, Make me your 40X guy and come to the Upside Dan.